if we're using Node.js, we should have both client-side and server-side JavaScript. So uh, while this is simple, let's add a geolocation API on the browser so that our users can check in and they can tag themselves wherever they are staying at. Here's the code. I was magic. I typed it really fast. Really what I did was I cut and pasted it. But let's just quickly go through this, which is the geolocation API is on the navigator object. We're going to check to see if it's here or not. And then if it is, we're going to essentially wait for the browser to say, hey, do you, would you like to give us your location, please? And then we're going to embed in the form the latitude and longitude of where the user is at and make it available for the user to check in. Let's try this out. First thing we need to do is this magic code, which lives in the public JavaScript's client.js folder. Everything in the public folder, if you go with the build that we're using with Express here, is considered static files. So if you make an HTTP request, anything that's in this folder is eligible to be served. We need to go back to our views again. And you'll spend a lot of time in your views when you're developing web apps. We want to go in our main handlebars. And we want to include the JavaScript. Oops, if I can type in the JavaScript's folder, client.js. And let's go see. We can see that Node, uh, I should say, Express is still running. And Node is still running. Let's rerun the page. We notice that the check-in button was magically set. And we can post, although it doesn't go anywhere. Take a quick look in the debugger to make sure our code works. Refresh the page. And we can see, indeed, my latitude and longitude is being stored in the form. We are ready for the next half, which is figuring out where the heck I am.